I would like to show you my Jean Shepherd Shrine, in which I have many items connected with uh, this master of uh, radio and many other media. Hi, Shep. This is a, the, a poster that was being uh, sold uh, in the 60s. Excelsior water. I have some seltzer bottles with, of course, his uh, favorite uh, word, Excelsior. I have all of his books in first edition. I think this is rather interesting. He created what's called the I Libertine hoax. He asked his uh, listeners to go out and request a book called I Libertine by a fictitious novel by a, a totally bogus author named Frederick R. Ewing and confuse booksellers and bestseller list followers. This went on for probably several months. It's not quite clear, but eventually it became known that it was indeed a hoax. Here is Gene Shepard. Here is Theodore Sturgeon. Back in the late 50s, uh, Shepard got together with a couple of close friends and put together a theater piece that had bits by himself, Shel Silverstein, his girlfriend, the soon to be his wife, Lois Nettleton, uh, Herb Gardner, who wrote uh, uh, A Thousand Clowns, which is actually about Shepard in, in a significant way. He was a strange guy in that he was always changing what he looked like. There you have my Gene Shepherd Shrine, full of all kinds of fascinating uh, pieces about his life and work. And uh, that's about the end of it. Bay to Black.